Yep. Oh. oh god, he's just bit my nutsack. Help me. Alright, uh, what can we use here? We could use a shovel. We could use a cleaver. We could use a baseball bat. Or we could just use a 9mm pistol. Let's use a 9mm pistol. Off with your face, bitch. They just look so happy. But you know they're just gonna kill you. So. And it sucks. Because you have to kill a happy looking bitch. But they wanna fuck with me, so I'll fuck with them. And kill them right in the face. Hey, hey, is there a mother around here? Because this is your son's face. <clears throat> yeah? You want your face back? This is your son's face? Look at it. It's his face. Do you want it? Because I got it. Ooh, let's play with his face. Play with your son's face. Here he is. There's your son's face. Oh, you mad, bruh? You mad? I don't give a shit if you mad. Oh, oh, did that suck? I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Come here. Come here, you fucking gecko face. Oh God. Hello. You fucking bitch. In the head. In the head. In the head. In the head. Okay, come on. Aw, oh, did that hurt? Well, fuck you. Holy shit. Headshot galore. Eat a dick. How about that? Seriously, I'm jamming already. Wow. Bob Marley in this bitch. Oh, we're getting radiated. Guess we better move from this area. Prim looks like a good little old city. Or town. Or whatever. Really? Enemies? Uh, oh. Hello! How do you like eating dirt? <clears throat> Get away from me, bro. Reload. <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh, over there? Hello? Hello? Uh huh. Oh, what the fuck? Two animals are fighting each other. But none will survive. You're a gecko hunter? Oh, yeah, well, I'm a fucking human hunter. So go fuck yourself. I have had my hunter training and it's taught me to slit your face off. And I'm over encumbered. Great. Can I repair anything? Nope. Absolutely not. Okay, that sucks. Uh, can we drop anything? Yes, pre-war baseball cap. We could drop that. Cool. Alright then. <clears throat> this will probably send me over the edge for weight. Oh, nothing there. Okay. Whatever. It won't then. How handy. Alright then. Where are we going? Ooh, that will though. As long as there's no more of it, then he won't send me over the edge. Yo, what's up? Oh, great. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Are you sure? What's going on in Prim? The convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Sure about that? <clears throat> Shouldn't you be protecting this town or something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Okay. So, what the locals of Good Springs were saying about them being... You know, stretched. 
might have some truth to it. I see. Huh, I'm gonna jump in this fire. Oh yeah. Yeah. My ass is cooking. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that tomfoolery. Anything up here of interest? No. There never is. Cool. Cool shit, bro. Alright, so over there, I guess, <coughs> is the actual town of Prim. That I'm guessing... Ooh, this is very convenient. Aw, can't take any ammo. That sucks. What about this bed? Ah, oh, we can sleep on a bed. Let's sleep on this bed for four hours. Yeah, that was good. That was some good shit, bruh. Oh, God. Over there is an NCR troop, so we're safe. Kind of. Yo. You lost? Maybe. Hello oh, there. hello. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Hello. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good while. Wow. Day. Why the fuck were you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. Uh, you didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla. Stars. I see. Where can I find more of these caps? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think oh. they'd all have been picked clean by now. But somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Wow. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. Okay, you mentioned some named someone named Festus. Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the Blue Star. Could be a robot. Caps. It's also said he's been around since the war. Standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure. Definitely a robot. That'll make him pretty damn old. But I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him. And they weren't the lying type. Yeah, it's a robot. So you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure. That they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion uh -huh. that they have some of those caps. What kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Thanks for the info, but I'll be going now. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. Okay. He's killed several people for their stars all Wow. Day. What a dick. He sounds like a really shitty kind of dickhole. Alright, let's try and. D d d d d oh god, fuck, what? I. Wow. Why am I always unsuccessful? Shit. Guess I have to kind of run into it and press it real quick. Yeah, that sucks. Yo. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Where are you from? I'm from the hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw him. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Okay, goodbye. Sir. Don't call me sir. Actually, do call me sir. But finish it off with John Candy of 45. Yes. Sir, en enter Lieutenant Hayes' tent. Let's talk to this lieutenant. Hello. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear war. <laughs> sure it does. You lost? You lost? 